All right, it looks like the stream is back online, guys. So let's uh, get right into it, right? Why should we stall? This is the greatest show on earth. You're listening to BC Dagger in the Brood War Weekly here. And uh, the first we're going to have today, thank you to the submissions of everybody. And especially the Spaniard who submits the the uh, Funday, Monday, and Tuesday replays the quickest. So therefore, he has earned the first game and the first spot here. So let's get into this. And we're not going to watch these replays in full, but I will show you the best of the replays here. So um, let me tell you guys something here. It takes about eight to nine minutes to get a nuke. <laughs> eight to nine minutes. So that that's pretty much where we need to start here in this game. So let's uh, let's go forward here and put this on uh, time 16. And uh, while that's going forward, let me tell you guys a little bit about the ghost. Are you guys not familiar with how a ghost works? Probably some of you have never used a ghost in a real game because you don't have the balls to use a ghost in a real game. So. Uh, Yes, this is a fun day Monday on Tuesday. Welcome. Enjoy this. And so the ghost, guys. It is considered a small ground unit. And it takes 50 seconds to be built. That's right, 50 seconds. But you guys know what? A marine takes uh, 24 seconds to be built. So you can build two marines plus one second of starting a new marine in the time that you can build a ghost. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Their health is just a, a measly 45 health. Uh, you know, the SEV is probably the strongest bio unit there is. Having a total of 60 health ain't that baller. So, without the upgrades, you start with 50 energy. And with the upgrade, you get up to 62 energy. Yes, there is an upgrade. And if you do not know, this is called the Mobius Reactor Upgrade. How cool is that? Reactors are great. Um... So then you have uh, three other upgrades. Personal cloaking. Well, that's not an upgrade. You get that by default. Um, then you have the lockdown ability. And then you have ocular implants, which allows the ghost to see far enough to not nuke itself. <laughs> so uh, people being world famous by talking in here in the chat. And this is a TBT with nuking. How great is that? So let's zoom a little bit forward here, and I'll tell you more about the ghost later, trust me. As I was saying in the last game here, ghosts can lock down arbiters, and arbiters are no longer able to cloak. But if you lock down, let's say, a science vessel, the science vessel can no longer use detection. So that's kind of really cool. Look at this uh, bunker on the front here. So you can maybe see by the APM difference here that Nikki Jam is... And a really cool name, Nikki Jam. He's got the greatest jams of all. It has 324 APM versus Beetle Tibber. <laughs> and Beetle Tibber's got a total of 68 APM. So, you know, unfortunately, the Spaniard managed to find someone who has a F ranking on IC Cup. Probably still a better Terran player than I am, but we don't need to go into logistics here. And now, like I said, you got to get to the nine-minute mark before before nukes can come. Doing the great cloaking research here. And things are just improving very quickly. The nuke is on its way to be built, but you don't want the nuke until you get your full upgrades for the ghost player. So lockdown is getting researched. Very useful for nukes, apparently. And still, there is three barracks being built here, and two ghosts at a time. That's pretty bold. Nikki Jam, that's very bold here. And now we finally do have ghosts at the ten and a half minute mark. Like I said, you can get it at nine minutes, but that's not how he rolls. And uh, get to eventually jump inside of this drop ship. Now, unfortunately, Nikki Jam doesn't follow the complete rules and does not do a Dr. Seuss st uh, fairy tale for us. But I don't think anybody followed the rules very strictly. Um, of course, everybody's excited to see Largo, who sub submitted a replay. And he just continues to spam the most ridiculous crap you'll ever hear. And we will jump into that. No, but cool. You have to be cool in order to do what he says. 
and just checking to make sure the ghosts are able to unload from that dropship. Cloaking them up, and we're going to see our first nuke of the day. Where is the optimal position? Nuclear launch detected. Uh-oh. The double nuke starting off. And here they come. <laughs> Trying to figure out if he can get into siege mode and kill off that ghost here, but eventually it is going to run away. Down to eight SCVs. All that work for the first 12 minutes of the game. And unfortunately, it looks like our Terran opponent here only has a total of... 8 SCVs to 63 SCVs. Uh, an additional nuclear silo at the two right bases here. Having one built down at the 6 o'clock also. And uh, I'm going to fast forward and we're going to watch right here as the conclusion of this game becomes very epic. Now what does Nicky Jam have planned up his sleeve? Because obviously when his opponent only has... Oh... There was one more nuke. <laughs> I thought that was the last nuke of the game. But he got a really good one off here on the front. Trust me, that's not what we're waiting for here. We saw the nukes that we cared about for this game. And a deterrent opponent, Vital Tibber, decides he will take a additional base here. And here it comes. The epic conclusion to our first game. Ghost. So if you guys didn't realize, we have massive amounts of ghosts being produced and for some reason medics because those seem to be popular and important at the same time here. Look at this amount of ghosts. When was the last time you saw ghosts this many in a competitive game? I don't think you have. You guys don't have the balls to build that many ghosts. This is me calling you guys out and uh, maybe you'll be bold to show me how well you can play in your games next week when I provide you with the next Mon Funday Monday on Tuesday. You could do this to a computer, but it's so much more fun to do this to an F-ranked uh, player. Oh, look at this epic conclusion. I think this is what I really like. I asked for nukes, but we're going to get locked down. <laughs> this scan... But that huge range, especially with that scouting uh, science vessel here. And then I think this is going to conclude with a nice nuke and we'll get into a little bit more of the epic nuke games here. Um, trust me, there's some good ones on the way. And here we go. This is the spot that you guys are looking for. <laughs> and Beetle Timber GG's. Wow, that is a, some, a guy with some good moral fiber. <laughs> so Beetle Timber ends the game with 65 APM to the 260 of Nicky Jam. It looks like his slipped a little bit here. And um, that's the end of game number one here of the Funday Mondays on Tuesday. Uh, the more interesting ones will, will come. Trust me, they are there. In fact, there's another really good one from uh, from the Spaniard, so uh, just hang out, and I will get the next one loaded. Our next game is going to consist of a TVZ, provided by Fear the Queen on Team Liquid. And we are almost ready to go here. All right, fellas. On the map, Blue Storm. You guys might be familiar with it. If you watch my every 2007 OSL back in the day. And uh, this is probably one of those games where you're going to want to read a lot of the text. But you can throw yours out there too. It just uh, it gets very amusing here. Staying on one base. This is going to be a one base nuke play. That's what I love about this one in particular. 
Uh, Art of Yertle is the guy we are cheering for here. Against, uh, I guess you would say Quoog is the Zerg player. Quoog is the enemy here. Remember that. Do not, do not cheer for the Zerg player here. He's not someone you want you want to be on the side of. Trust me, he's evil. But uh, how do you pronounce that face? Is that like a just uh, that's not like an unimpressed face. That's just like an aware face. Is that what that looks like up there? Hmm. But uh, fear the queen in the chat, and uh, <laughs> trust me, he's got some good comments. So this hold right here is just going to be straight up marines. While this uh, natural base is finally underway. And the Zerg pro opponent is going to open up Mutas. So that's going to be fun. We're seeing Zerg pressure here, but that that's nothing. Look at this Marine Force. Uh, I, I just love the fact that Art of Yertle does not need medics at all with his Marine Army. I mean, they are pretty overrated here. And saving that gas for the construction of these heavy gas uh, buildings that he's going to require to get the new gout. Uh, but those uh, mutas are going to be on underway very shortly here. Let's speed up until that spire is done. And then we can see as the drama does unfold. Okay, so here's the push out. Two medics combined with this army here. Do some decent amount of marines. You'd think that this uh, little militia could do some damage. But unfortunately, these mutas are making their warpath. This is just like... Uh, this is like any game on Blue Storm with July Zerg. You know those mutas were going to get some heavy damage done. But unfortunately, they're not going to be here to defend. It's going to rely upon, upon these sunken colonies here. So who's going to get the most damage out of this? Meanwhile, the nuclear silo is not done. He's going to have to move this science facility. He put that in the wrong position here. Probably regretted that later. And that's a lot of mutas being brought into the fold here but I think uh, maybe he realized that the force is out here and now the stim coming in oh look at that damage it's just too much all right Yertle, he's gonna win the game without the nukes oh snap that my that micro. This must be his main race. It's got to be. Is, you, you can tell this is an experienced Zerg opponent. All right. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. That co covert ops is done, which means you can build the ghost. And this is where the things are going to pick up this opportunity here. And, but will he defend against these Judas? Using the defense of these turrets, he is able to hang in there a little bit longer. Unfortunately, that barracks is not going to finish. And these Marines are going to push out here and try and stem attack against the Mutas. There's no medics. Well, I guess there's one in here doing its slow rebuilding of their health. And the Kakaroos just flocking across the screen. I guess they wanted to fly with the Mutas. That's kind of a cute little thing going on there. But most importantly, the nuclear silo is done. And once he gets a ridiculous amount of gas and minerals, he'll be able to build a nuke. If you guys aren't familiar, let me tell you exactly how much a nuke costs. Actually, I'm not sure how much a nuke costs. Um, hmm. I don't have that printed out. Or written down or anything. But it's expensive. That's why people don't do it too much. <laughs> Mini Kakaroo. So that nuke, we're going to speed up until the nuke does finish up here. And now we have to find that ghost. There's one ghost finish being built. Where is it? <laughs> and so the smack talk begins. This is the hero, guys. We are going to be watching the ghost. Oh, 200-200. Thank you. <laughs> Just had a little memory lapse. 
Don't know why I should come so unprepared, right guys? But this is all for fun. Which is why we're having Dr. Nuke Knight. And the guy who is bitching about Lucky Irradiates, meaning that he failed to get his mutas out of the way of those science vessels, or snipe him up with Scourge, is now going Nuclear for... Launch detected. Okay. Nuclear launch detected. But, aw, oh, crap. These guardians gonna try and wait, lay waste before the nuke can go down. Unfortunately, he doesn't have detection. Let's see how many of these drones will die. <laughs> how stupid is that range? So, if you guys don't know, a nuke does, uh, does 500 damage. Or 3 force damage to a unit, whichever does the most damage. So that's pretty ridiculous. And now both of these players saying that they're off race. So Quoosh saying that he can rape you with his main race. <laughs> Alright guys, settle down. Settle down, it was just a nuke. Feelings shouldn't be hurt. But that's the kind of rage you can expect from mind gaming your opponent by building a nuclear silo so quick. And the guardians are making their way across. <laughs> you guys are just so wise. And now the guardians putting themselves in position here to make it really hard for the marines to attack. Both these players are A minus, clearly, if you guys didn't realize that. With their off race, with their main race, there might be normal like ranks. But that's what's going on here. Kruge clearly is a S class Zerg player. The more you trash talk, the higher your ranking. And the switch to the wraiths just on their way too. So somehow he's managing to go for a massive amount of wraiths along with his nuke play. Where? Why is the nuke being constructed here? I'm, I'm very disappointed. I think that might be the last nuke we see in this game here. But it's a good example of some great trash talk. So let's go forward and see how this uh, epic game does conclude here. So both these players are D-ranked, but that's still good. That that makes it look pretty evenly matched between the two players. And here comes the huge uh, Guardian push again. Um, clearly he thinks that Guardians are going to win, but I think there's a good amount of race on the map here that can win this, especially with Cloak. Things will get taken out pretty quickly here. And here comes the funeral. Oh. <laughs> Did you even replay the guy? <laughs> you guys will find out soon enough if uh, if Art of Yurtle accepts the regame against uh, Quoog here. Good job, you're pro, Art of Yurtle. Take real map, please. Not this shit from 20 years ago. Art of Yurtle using his, uh, his great uh, school knowledge to count years. This is not a 20 year old map because Brood War is not 20 years old. Now, this is where Art of Yurtle shows how class he is. He can, uh, he can out, out talk his opponent by dodging effectively here. This is how you dodge. <laughs> I 
Oh man. This is why you guys need to 1v1 more. And that's gonna be the end of our um <laughs> our game. Krug says you seriously dodge after talking shit? What the fuck? <laughs> Where your art of Yurtle replies, pew pew. And that is the end of game number two here. Alright. Game number three is gonna go back to the Spaniard with one of his replays and um he pulled something off that was so cool against his opponent here. And I think they were more even opponent here. Uh, but Spaniard's got some pretty good... Uh, he's got some pretty good uh, TVP. So this will be pretty good. You guys will enjoy this. And so now we're going back to the Spaniard. This game... It's going to be against Kusakov. Alright. Let's get to the exact portion that we want to be at here. Welcome everybody to the Brood War Weekly. Um, whatever segment you want to enjoy the most. I talked about Queensbridge and the foreign map that we watched earlier. Um, in this cast, if you missed it, it will be available for viewing later. Um, it was pretty interesting, I thought. I had a good talk about it. And um, I hope to learn more from you guys at the same time here. Um, you cannot see the game. That's on purpose. I'm just fast-forwarding to where we need to be at this portion of the game. So just enjoy the background. Um, and then... If we have time after the next few replays that I'm going to be going through, we could we could throw out some games. I know you guys can't see shit, but there's no point. You don't need to see it yet. Okay. Calm down. I gave you vision. So now here is the time to watch. As we go forward here, we're going to point out that the nucleus is being constructed here. The starport being done means that dropships are available to you. And uh, I think that's what is going to be so brilliant about this uh, this game here. So the Protoss player, let me catch you up, has taken his natural base and is working towards a third base down here. And what's this? A Stargate at third base. Meanwhile, two nuclear silos are built. One, two nuclear missiles are, are finished up too, but the ghost is not done yet. We've got some time before the ghost is going to go down. And uh, this is where it's going to get exciting. Now that we have the ghost constructed, we're about two minutes away. Someone's saying, watch his nuke. Sure, go to that stream if you want. I don't care. <laughs> so, you would think looking at this defense here, this is way too epic of a defense for anybody to be able to get a, a ghost in here to do nukes. Those are not ghosts right there. Those are just spider mines. And uh, defense on the bridge is going to make that third really hard to get to. And this is really good defense here. Look at all these uh, photon cannons in the right place. So that's not going to go down either. Still only one ghost constructed here. But there's a science vessel around. There's a drop ship. I think that can equal a recipe for great success here. And now it looks like... <laughs> There's some drama in the chat. Thank you guys for um, for queuing up the drama because that's the reason why you should be here is to yell at each other instead of enjoying some beautiful StarCraft game. Once we see that dropship move, I promise you the ghost will come. Alright. No, no. This is better than Boxer's... Uh, old game from long ago. This is the best basically nuke drop I've ever seen. So the really cool job from Nikki Jam here. And how is he going to outschool his Protoss opponent? You can't really get past these cannons here. This, that's uh, It seems like an insurmountable task here. And now with the reinforcement of Dragoons also. Oh snap, this is going to be way too hard. The Zealots are ready too. Kusakov, the Russian... Maybe Ukrainian. The actually, Ukrainians are Russian, I guess these days. They um, 
they know how to defense it and uh, this dropship is gonna have to get in there somehow so D matrix leading with the science vessel soaks up a few shots now is moving out with the dropship here brings the science vessel into it for additional defense immediately heals and cloaks the dragoon or uh, not the dragoon the ghost and the nuke does finally get launched Oh, that was a sick combination of Medic, D-Matrix, Drop, Play. The probes do get pulled, but not before this nuke does fall down. And uh, this probe, fortunately, was sitting inside that assimilator, was able to save itself. So, how many of you guys can put money that this will happen twice? That that our, our player, Nikki Jam, here will be able to pull this off twice. So let's fast forward here and see if that can happen again. Oh, lots of action in the background. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see. Oh! Look at that! He made it in there again. <laughs> Okay, I wrote the time down wrong, but apparently he did make it in here again. Is that ghost going to be too close, though? He does micro it away, and the pro count is now 25. But, oh, guys, while you were watching that timer and things were speeding up, something mysterious happened at the third base. Carriers! <laughs> Nikki Jam! What are you going to do when there's all these carriers inside of your game? <laughs> but no, that's not a nuke that's going down to these carriers. Staying strong here, continuing to nuke these defenseless buildings. He does decide to drop down one more nuke and eventually take out the Cybernetics Core and the Forge. Anything under 500 health will die. Look at that drop. Takes a 14 seconds to summon a nuke. And the carriers are on the move. Nuclear launch detected. <laughs> but he continues to not move his ghost over and nuke the carriers, which would be great so far. And now he's going to take out this. Uh, I think this gateway should survive. What do you guys think? Survive, die, survive. Brings it down to 30 health. That's a pretty good chunk of health to be taken out but where are them carriers nine carriers on the map he must have he has uh, Corsairs coming too I uh, wonder why he would have Corsairs unless he researched defensive web that's definitely a possibility here that sacrificial Corsair that sacrifice <laughs> and now the carriers are unleashed this would be fodder all I'm thinking is Nikki Jam. Where's the nuke? Right here. These guys ain't doing shit. Carriers are really slow. But there's a force coming out. Could there be a ghost in, in the mix? He has three ghosts. He has... Nukes on the way. Tanks can't attack high. Don't bring them in there. That's not necessary. I guess they're there to soak up some random damage while the glass try getting here. This micro though, oh, this micro makes me sad. Right there, oh, that carrier does get taken out. A little part of me died. Not the important part of me though, so don't worry. And now interceptors on crack. Where? Where? One more? Where? Where's the? Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost, guys? Is it on there? No, no. The only ghost I see, it's got to be around here. There we go. We found the dot. We identified it. It is on two useless gateways. That's all she wrote for that cannon. The blue fire has ignited. Oh, wow. He's microing the interceptor. That's... Whoa. That would be some ridiculous micro. Only Stork could do that. <laughs> <laughs> but these carriers moving in and and uh, the Goliath force is still there <gasps> again 
Where's the nuke? Where's the nuke? We found the ghost. Ah, uh, there's the dot. We've identified the dot. Sitting at 24 probes. Let's see that get quickly erased. So, I, not one ghost killed. Maybe the one at the beginning was killed, I guess. So now he's at 15 probes. That was a good, uh, that was a good probe killing. The massacre with those nukes. Not quite Hiroshima level, but it was close. <laughs> Building these additional command centers for scans and nukes. That's pretty effective here, too. And, okay, so he did get d web, but it's not doing that great. Again? Again? So another nuke is going to go down. What do you guys think? Dead Nexus? Not dead Nexus. Right here. Is it dead? Blammo! Triple kill on those buildings. That ghost will go home a hero. Actually, let's see. That ghost only has three kills. That's quite unfortunate. But these carriers, are they too strong? Is Nikki Jam going to hold on? Across all this, um, all this massive nuke micro, is he going to be able to hold on here? The economy, it's in shambles. He only has 18, 18 minerals here. Um, trying to mine here, up to a total of 66. The APM is 264 to 77. Um, thought I, you should know that. Oh, nuclear launch detected one more time. I feel like... This is going to be another useless nuke. Where is it? I think I might be off on this one. Hmm. Guys, where is it? Okay, I found it. <laughs> kind of hard to keep track. Nikki Jam did pretty good here. Right in the middle here, though. Oh, it would be so awesome if some carriers came out. But it looks like they're not going to finish up in time. Alright, now my nuke micro is going to have to be really quick on the next one because I want to see where it's going to come up from next. The carriers are almost completely dead here. You guys, I'm colorblind, so it's even harder to find the nuclear um, the nuclear laser targeting, unfortunately. Look at that, that bold Corsair. What a useless D-Web. <laughs> the carriers are pulling back for that epic defense here. Tanks are moving in. He's actually using ground forces to do some damage here. Oh, here we go. The ghost. Again. Um, there is no nuke quite yet. The game is almost over. Yes, it is. Let's see. This nuke is about to finish. Let's try and watch this nuke, though. Oh, GG. Before one more nuke can come out. So, great game there from Nikki Jam. Thank you for providing that. The carriers made everything more epic, of course. So that is game number three. All right, guys. Um, we got one more. We got one more. And I was told specifically that I would probably get killed if I didn't play this last replay. Um, although I feel like it's just one giant advertisement. But trust me, uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch it anyway. But hold on one second, everybody. Hold on to your horses here. Let's go to the end of this thread. Let's see. I quote. Gecko says, if you don't cast the logger replay, I'm going to be super angry and there will be consequences. I swear. And then oh, he made up a nice little riddle. Even though you guys forgot to do the Dr. Seuss nuke thing. A person's a person no matter how small and you're about to be nuked no person at all so uh that's getting into the spirit so largo he's from russia and uh he started playing in 2004 and so we're gonna watch this 2004 tear it, tear it up let me get this loaded in here while you guys get up to your shenanigans if you have someone near you right now while you're watching this during your, at your computer, slap them in the face. Do it. I dare you. I'll give you an esports dollar. Doctor Nuke, Largo, 
He re he named this replay Nuke Time. And let's see. So the exciting parts that happens at eight minutes here, but you guys get all like angry if I don't show you the uh, the stream while we're watching this. So how are you, brother? Stimatic says, and um, Chev AC does not say anything in reply. Now, Stim Addict is Largo, just so you guys got it straight. He is a Zerg player here. Stim Addict says, you know what? Shivak says, no. He doesn't know. Dr. Se Dr. Seuss says, it's dangerous to die to a nuke. Seems like the spirit is on its way. But we are not the cowards, right? And we gonna try. Okay. You know what, says Stim Addict? Question mark. You'd better not read this. <laughs> Who cares what Dr. Seuss says? As the Zerg expands. The only good thing it's... Yourletters.org is awesome. Okay, apparently something called yourletters.org is great. Thank you, Largo, for sending this to me two hours ago, just so you could get yourletters.org spammed on stream. <laughs> you should. You know why? It's just awesome. And uh, the APM is actually higher and more of the favorite Zerg player here. So these guys must be pretty even. Meanwhile, random Icy Cup noob dies to a nuke. <laughs> and Russia Bears says to Dr. Seuss what to tell, right? <laughs> okay, the Largo, you gotta submit a replay every week. Now, this is hilarious. You know what? Don't touch my SEV, please. <laughs> Did his SEV get killed? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, it looks like it's going to make it away. So we are four minutes away from the nuke. And he continually brings up yourletters.org. So maybe you guys are thinking, hmm, what is yourletters.org? Is this really real? Is he some sort of brood war spam bot for websites? I think those should exist. Why don't they? So, uh, let's, uh, go to the monitor capture. Here we go. Yourletters.org. Play a test game and learn how to play here. Looks like there's some pretty good competitiveness here. Look at that in the chat. Sale. He's a, a team liquider. So apparently this must be popular. If you guys don't know about it, then I guess you're not in. I know it's not cool to be in. Or is it cool to be in? I don't know these days. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Crap. Here. So I guess we figured out why Gecko really wanted us to watch this replay. Because he gets a shout out. And that probably brings him a little bit more self-importance. But Gecko does provide a lot of cool stuff in the Brood War scene. <laughs> and he plays on, on the letters.org website too. And it looks like the Zerg player here is building quite a bit of Hydras. So what the hell? Oh no! Stim Addict, he doesn't have any units. Is he gonna lose this? <laughs> How dare he attack! How dare Shavak attack the great Stim Addict? And now he tries to break the ramp here. <laughs> Laughing at the Zerg player. Lies. I have the broken race. You must back up. And now the insect race is in retreat. Meanwhile, the nuke. It's almost done. Soon Stim Addict will have this one. Wow. Yourletters.org. 
I think we should play a game where at this point everybody takes a shot when they see him advertise your letters.org. <laughs> so the ghost is up and about. Maybe I could have just done my whole entire cast in Dr. Seuss rhymes. I probably could have done that. I'm pretty decent at rhyming. I'm no little Wayne when it comes to rhyming, but I've got it. I, I can uh, I can do it iambic pentameter. Um, counting to ten has been one of the more easier things for me in my lifetime. Uh, this ghost is just you know wagging lagging behind here. He's got that swagger pose. He's about to move in and uh, trying to get across this bridge. Here comes the fun engagement here as we conclude the last game of our Doctor Nuke. We couldn't have a more obnoxious uh, chat spammer than Stim Addict, and I love it. Thank you. So the cloak here, there's no overlords, and, and the overlords might not be close enough here. Do they have that speed upgrade? Oh, how many drones are going to die right here? But the engagement, they move out. What are they hoping for? <gasps> this, all these drones, they're going to die. Oh, but the, the overlords, they're almost there. Oh. <laughs> and it looks like they're taken out. A sad day for the Zerg. It does have an additional base here. Look at the nice square that's in the middle of this map. You don't want to be nuked. Visit us. And it looks like that's going to conclude this game here. Yourletters.org. How to not be nuked. <laughs> and that's the end of the game GG uh, thank you Largo for submitting that replay that added great um, great joy to my heart so uh, guys I'm going to be putting on the, uh, the next fun day Monday on Tuesday when I'm done with this cast you guys need to get with the program and um, and submit your replays I prefer when replays are sent before the day of the cast, so I actually have time to look at them and prepare. Otherwise, it's a little bit harder to prepare um, for the show. Uh, I'm going to have some new uh, new replays next week. I have a Foreigner replay that was played uh, at the beginning of at the end of last month, so that would be March 30th, and it's True Touch versus a Korean player. And uh, according to True Touch, was a pretty damn good game. So, um, and I think he was a retired, he's a retired pro or semi pro. I can't quite remember, but if you guys want to come back next week, you will be able to watch that. Now I have this third segment of my show that I'm trying to figure out how to do. And it's supposed to be like a community thing where we all go play brood war. And, uh, I don't know. Let's figure out how to do that. <laughs> I'm not very organized for this, but uh, let's go. Anybody who wants to play, maybe you can get an icy cup right now, and, and uh, we'll go into the Brood War Weekly uh, room here. Let me show you guys everything that's going on. Maybe you can just follow my stream here. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. If, if I show you the image here, it's gonna glitch out. So I'm just gonna be the observer here, and if you guys want to play, uh, play some hunters. Uh, Hunter's map. Let's play 4v4 right now. Get it on stream, and I'm gonna add some cast to it. Um, this could be a lot of fun here. So I on icy cup is gonna go. I'm gonna go to BW Weekly for Brood War Weekly. Don't go to yourletters.org. <laughs> Let's play some StarCraft. And. Uh, I don't know, if you guys join on quick enough, we can get this going. Let me add some music in the background, take a quick little breather here, because um, I've just been casting for an hour and a half straight. And I'm going to get some water as I wait for everybody, and we will do some community games. Yeah.